Alright. More Grandia 3. Um, it's been a couple weeks since my last recording. Uh, but I'm back. <laughs> and whenever I upload these, wherever I stick them, it's... This pause will not exist. Um... Two people actually watching it as it's uploaded because I'm not streaming it. Any hoosers? Um, yeah, last time we uh, uh, checked out some stuff at Bakula, progressed the story a bit there. I think we might have done some uh, preparation with uh, skills and stuff. I'm not too sure. Um, and we explored a little bit, went exploring in the air, and checked out many cities in... Which is where we're headed now. Awesome. The thing about Grandia 3 is that it's, uh... All the things that the characters say tend to essentially change with every story event. Um, so while we only have a few towns in the game and all, um, all NPC dialogue, there is still a heck of a lot of it. Hi. Okay, fine, we can't speak to you. I don't remember where this goes. Is this South Street? Yes. Um... Sure, let's head there, why not? See what's going on. Wanna explore here and then check out Anfog, and we'll be good. I don't really care to head to... Sabotar... right now. Hello. Hmm... Well, I don't have anything to do tonight. Maybe we could have dinner together, but you're paying. Listen, baby, I know a little place that you just love. Why don't we go there right now? <laughs> He's trying to pick her up, and she looks like she might be interested. Come on, let's go get a drink. You'll have a great time, I guarantee it. Just leave everything to me. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the tune here is a arrangement of like Schmidt's main theme or the uh, one that plays in the contest, which is a pretty cool light motif since you know it's like associated with the mainland. Hello. Welcome, welcome! Take a simple quiz and win a roast pig! Wow, okay, old man, I'll take your quiz. You seem pretty confident. I was never very good at quizzes myself. Nothing can stop me when food's involved. But wait a minute, is there some kind of penalty if I lose? None at all, and if you win, you can eat as much roast pig as you want. As much as I want? Really? I could eat your entire stock, you know? I know. So, you just have to go out and catch enough pigs to replace what you ate! Now then, question number one. Uh, no thanks. <laughs> Publicity is tricky. I want to attract customers, but I don't want to lose money either. Bro! This set up. You there! The young foreign lady in the unusual clothes! Would you like to try our Super Cleansinator 2000? Cleans? What's that? Do you mean to tell me that you don't know about the best-selling line of water purifiers in the world? They're famous! Fine. These water purifiers are a must if you live in the city. Shall I wrap one up for you? I see. But I don't need one, thanks. The Bacula Oasis has water that's as clear as crystal. But young lady, just because water is clear doesn't mean that it's safe to drink. 
Even the clearest water can be positively swarming with vile bacteria and parasites. Ah, give it up, buddy. Nobody in their village has ever had any problems drinking that water. No? Oh well. Appealing to people's fears usually works pretty well with the people here in Mendy. Oh boy. It's a giant flower shop. I forgot about this place. That's such a cute sound. Hello. Welcome. Would you like some flowers to give to your significant other? No thanks. I don't have anybody to give them to. Except Sheba, but he just eat them. <laughs> How terrible. But surely there must be someone. I know. Mother's Day is coming up soon. How about giving some flowers to your mother? To my mom? She might like it if I took her to a buffet, but flowers aren't really her style. So your mother's a big eater just like you, Alf? What about your father? Of course! We're family! <laughs> it's wonderful to eat together as a family, but it would be even more wonderful with some flowers on the table. <laughs> Cute. Also, again, as I say, these characters have backstory. If it's n not backstory per se, but they're fleshed out to a degree, you know? They live in the world. How pretty! Just seeing the flowers bloom makes me feel a bit happier. Uh, yeah. But why do you suppose girls like flowers so much? I guess I'll never understand that. Because <laughs> they're awesome. If you don't like flowers, you just have bad taste. Come on. I don't sell any coconuts here, so don't bother asking! But I didn't say anything. Hmm, I don't know what desert you wandered here from, but I guess you don't look much like the coconut type at that. No, I'm not. You just have so many fruits here that I've never seen before. I thought I would take a look. So you're just looking! You're honest, aren't you? I like honesty. Feel free to look as much as you like. <laughs> what do you think of my what do you think of my fruit? Impressive, eh? They all look so delicious. I'd love to show them to everyone in my village back home. I can just bet you would. Pick one up. You can tell how sweet and juicy it is, can't you? Watch out, Donna! Don't fall into the old lady's trap! As soon as you touch it, she'll make you pay for it! <laughs> Bite your tongue! I had almost tricked her into buying one of my fruits! Foiled again. Maybe I'm getting too old for this. When I was younger, I could do this in my sleep! <laughs> These are really weird fruit! Like, gigantic eggplants. This is the size of Yuki. <laughs> I admit I have no idea how eggplants grow. Cute. Yellow. Kid shirt grow up fast. I got my I got back from the sea and my daughter called me daddy. How old is your daughter? I guess she'll be one year old soon. She's as cute as a button. Looks just like my wife. Good thing, too. I'd hate for her to look like you. <laughs> My wife said the same thing. I suppose I'll have to agree. When I see my daughter's face, all the weariness from my long trip just disappears. She's like a little angel, she is. Oh. Oh, a jerk. <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, Chelsea! Huck! Did you just hear that? sound? Well, I heard you say, Ack. Not that, the sound of my heart leaping the moment I laid eyes on you. Senor Veggies. You have a heart condition? You've just split open my heart like a ripe watermelon. In other words, I'm in love. That's amor, signorina. Am 
Emma, I don't know how to speak this. I'm sorry. Uh, well, we have to be going. But wait, Signorina. I was just trying a new sales technique. Just a little humor. You, you don't want anything? I think your technique could use a little work. <sighs> My heart is breaking like an overripe tomato. I can't work anymore today. Just take anything you like. Gee. I'm coming back here? Nope. I feel like one of these houses opens. Oh. You can go inside? Be on the other side, I suppose. None of these looks particularly go throughable. Barrel. We'll wanna break it. <laughs> you look pretty far back through this. Besides the flower shop, obviously. Did I miss you? How did I miss you? Sorry, bud. You have a different skin from everyone else. So. I thought I would look for my friend while I did some sightseeing, but I found out I'm not cut out for the city. Wow, you look pretty serious. What's wrong? Something happened to you? I finally found his house and he pushed me out into the street. I want to forget about the country, he says. We're from the same village, but now he thinks he's a city slicker. That's terrible. You'd think he could at least treat you to dinner after you came all that way to see him. Yes, he's really changed. Of course, I probably shouldn't have come just when he was making out with his girlfriend. No, the city isn't for me. It's hard to talk to people, and no one even says hello when you pass on the street. <sighs> Poor guy. Okay, let's check out the harbor. This is just like a big flat plane. I guess it's technically curved, probably. Yeah. Kinda <laughs> hilarious to look at it and recognize that it is actually just an image. Honestly, not that bad of a transition, though. I am a... I think... Is this an image? I mean, presumably, but that looks extremely not image-like. I think they actually have the... Model for that is weird. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> oh, boy. Stuff going on here. Damn it! More trouble. I can't believe this stuff could just disappear. You sure somebody didn't steal it while you were on a break or something? What? I don't think anybody's going to be stealing four entire carts worth of packages. Besides, I don't take breaks. Four carts worth? Ouch! Somebody's head's gonna roll for that one. Wait, Elf. You don't suppose this has something to do with the verse fears, do you? Verse? What are you talking about? I'm in deep trouble here. If I don't find those packages, I'm sunk. I'm sorry, I just don't have time for this. I have to think right now. Can't you talk to me about it tomorrow? Ah! I wonder if anything happens if you sleep and then come back. Probably not. You never know. That seagull sound is the same thing that some of the enemies make. There is no one here, no. Oh, well, we get a nice view. Cargo ships. I think. Yeah, that one anyway. And that one? 
I don't know anything about boats, but I'd like to say this one is more of an actual thing to travel on as a passenger. Look at those roofs. What is going on here? Hello? Phew! I got pretty nervous this time, but he really came through! That was one nice lobster! A nice lobster? What kind of lobster was it? <laughs> oh, nothing. All the lobsters we sell are nice. Why don't you buy one? Ha ha ha! The fishmonger is talking about divine retribution now. He really thinks he's a prophet. My god. <laughs> what? Should I have fried shrimp or fried mackerel for dinner? I suppose I should ask the fishmonger. Don't you think it's a little strange to have someone predict what you're gonna eat for dinner? You just don't get it. Prophets like that fishmonger come along once in a hundred, you know, a thousand years. Predicting what I'm going to have for dinner will be no problem for him. Really? Don't get fooled. Don't get fooled, Alvina. She's just a chill working for the fishmonger trying to drum up more business. Ugh, it can't be. He said I would be bitten by a stray dog. Could he have been talking about you? Another one of his predictions has come true. It's scary how accurate he is. I'd better buy some fish to keep him happy. Huh? Ha 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 ha! I am the fishmonger prophet. It may be up to me to save the world someday. Can you really see the future? Yes! I predicted the destru destruction of Arcraft. And it's not just predictions. I can also... Hi. Do we have what? Uh, she is out with the neighbor right now. Uh, headed to the place. Um, just bringing neighbor on a trip to a place they were headed. It's like a little ways away, but I'm not too sure how long they're gonna be. Yeah, it's around Moncton. No. It's a fishery place. <laughs> I do not remember what it's called, sorry. <laughs> uh, and it's not just predictions. I can also call down divine retribution. Just listen, there was this crooked merchant who was selling fish that was almost running. I said that he was going to get his sometime in the near future, and then the very next day... He got his? You'd better believe it! When he was taking a nap by the harbor, a giant lobster pinched him on the bottom! More and more people are starting to believe in my powers. Maybe it's time to become a full-time prophet. Jerry, I wonder if that prophet knows when you will return. He looks just like an ordinary fishmonger, but I hear he predicted the fall of our craft. He looks like one because he is just an ordinary fishmonger. He's just putting y'all on. But his prediction came true. He knew about our craft. Maybe he knows about my Jerry. I've waited so long. Right, he'll just say something vague like he will return in time or some junk like that. Perhaps, but perhaps not. We are not a prof we are not prophets. Who are we to predict what a prophet will say? I uh, yeah, I guess. <sighs> but you may be right. I should get home and sleep. I work at night, you see. No. Get some rest. This sucks. Anyone out over here? Looks like the harbor is pretty quiet, all things considered. Sup? Ugh. 
that big black swirly thing had to show up just when I was about to get through a voyage without getting sick. I'd like to hear more about that big black swirly thing, but... Don't you think that's kind of a minor goal for a sailor? Shut up. Ugh. For me, it'd be a miracle to make it through a trip without getting sick. We were one day away from Mendy. I thought for sure I'd get back here, make it back here without getting sick. But that big black swirly thing appeared to make the boat rock so much that I... Uh, I don't feel well. That sounds like a verse fear. I think you should be happy that you made it back here alive. There are some things more important than a man's life. I was so close. Ugh. Burf. <laughs> oh. The captain even yelled at me for throwing up in the middle of an emergency. It was pretty bad. Sorry, dude. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> Here. Oh, can we go through these? Nope. Circle on the map, but <laughs> yeah, ropes are in the way. It's so funny that we hear so much about verse fears, but see, like, two in the game. One of the natural, and the other specifically summoned. I wonder if they could have uh, animated the water while making images of the uh, boats. Because the boats are big things to load in, presumably, but uh, probably could have. Uh, probably could have gone in the water. Not too much shenanigans going on here. We'll see if Otto's got anything up, but then otherwise we're about it. Check on Seva's landing place, too. I don't know why I didn't see Seva at Bacula. Or maybe I did and I'm just not remembering. <laughs> Can we go in? No. 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 Give me just a sec. Yo, was this busy? Or... No, I just missed this guy. Okay, I want to check here, but let's see what these two folks are up to right now. Also, okay, there's the man. Stupid storyteller losing his pages. I bet we won't be seeing his sweaty old face around here much longer. Why? Is he, is he going somewhere? He'll get fired for stealing, I bet. Whenever I get tired of one of our servants, I just hide something and say they stole it. Jeez. <laughs> Nobody cares if a poor servant gets fired anyway. I wouldn't be surprised if you took it talking like that. Where were you when the page was stolen? <laughs> no comment. Listen, kid. You can at least come up with an excuse. Doors of society like me and my dad don't have to make excuses to anybody. Got a problem with that? <laughs> now get lost! If you keep bothering me, I'll tell my dad and he'll have to you thrown in Mendy Harbor. My dad is the CEO of Mendy! <laughs> I saw it all! A kid about my age ran off with one of the storyteller's pages. I know they did it. So, do you know who that kid was? Well, not exactly. I'm not even sure if it was a boy or a girl. I don't remember seeing them around here much. How could somebody steal part of my favorite story? I love the Frog Prince. What's 
What's with the long face? Are you getting bullied? Hmm? What did you say? I can't hear you. What was that? It wasn't me. What was it? Nothing. Come on, it had to be something. What's wrong? I didn't steal it! That's a little suspicious. Where are you hiding? Hey, he's up on her. She's just a kid. Now, where did the last page of the Fraud Prince go? If I don't find it, I won't be able to finish the story. It's such a nice story, too. The children love it. Oh, dear. Now what am I going to do? Hey, old man. Don't you have any idea where it is? None whatsoever. I got up from my nap and it was just gone. I'm sad to say that I was fast asleep when the last page disappeared, so I have no idea where it went. I see. If only someone had been watching you at the time. That's right! One of my regular customers said he saw the person who took the page. We've got to find that page. Without it, the kids will never know how the story ends. Hmm. Okay. You got anything on the matter? I wonder where that page from the storyteller's Frog Prince story disappeared to. I illustrated it, you know. Were you here when the page disappeared? I was here drawing, as always. The only people around were the usual kids. You don't suppose... Hello, you see anything? A kid who likes lying that much will just end up a scam artist when he grows up. <laughs> I didn't think the kids had been the ad in him. Here's the brown question. Oh, it's that boy in front of the storyteller. This is the third day in a row he's fooled me. First he made me pay for the storyteller, and when I went into the cafe, he directed me to it. It turned out to, to be a men's toilet. You'd think you'd notice that before you went in. Ah, when I think of how that kid tricked me, I get so mad. Dang. Okay. We got a trickster. There's something written on the stone here. Is it a name? Some kid probably just wrote his name and the name of the girl he likes on it. Yes, you're right. It's so small. It says... Yoki loves Alphine. Their names are a lot like ours. Yeah. I hope things worked out for Yoki and Alphine. Oh. Cute. <laughs> Not a lot of folks around here. We are not legally on this uh, search mission yet. We have not spoken to Otto. After all. I guess she's got herself a new boyfriend. I shouldn't be surprised. After all, she's a free woman now. Your smile seems a little strained. Are you sure you're okay? I've broken up with that woman over there on the other bridge. It's not mine anymore. We're strangers. That woman over on the other bridge is a stranger to me. I don't have any right to tell her what to do. I shouldn't care about what happens to her, but... Enough already! You wanna cry? Cry! Let it all out! Nobody's gonna stop you! Crying won't solve anything. When I'm done, nothing will have changed. It's pointless. You see? I can't remember if Ulf ever gets really sad in the story. But 
it's cool to see that's kind of what how he was. Do you two have anything to do with this, or are you a completely separate scenario? Hey, stop it! He didn't mean anything by it! You gotta stop her, mister! What are you getting so upset for? Settle down. I can't settle down! This is a matter of life and death! We gotta stop her! Okay, what's up? Alright then, I guess I'll just have to barge into his house and settle this once and for all! Whoa, you look pretty fired up. What are you gonna do? I was just starting to make friends with the little boy who lives here when he pinched my nose. <laughs> Why would he do that? It's a challenge. He thinks he's better than us city kids. Well, we're gonna show him, aren't we, Miss Exotic? Count me in. This is war. We'll teach him not to treat us that way. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned! That kid'll wish he never moved into this neighborhood! Dang! <laughs> Brutal! The family that moved into that house over there always seems to get along so well. It reminds me of that day. Yes? Would you mind telling us about it? Oh, it's not very interesting. We were just walking along the beach at sunset. Me, my husband, and our son. Where were you going? Where was it? I don't remember now, but it doesn't really matter. We were just walking, the three of us. I remember my son had just gotten a sunburn. He looked at me with his red face and smiled. He's been away at sea for five years now. I hope he comes home soon. I'd like to see his smile again. Okay, auto boy detective. Sup? Hi, Sam. We've got a case. The storyteller in the plaza has had one of his pages stolen, but... Fuck. This is not the voice I want to use for him. <laughs> We've got a case. The storyteller in the plaza has had one of his pages stolen, but we'll set things right. You seem pretty excited by all this. Being Otto's assistant is a lot more fun than I thought. I'm really getting into it. Who could have stolen the storyteller's page? I'll tell you what I think. It had to be one of the kids there in the plaza. Why do you say that? It doesn't take a master detective to know that the people most interested in those stories are kids. I read in a detective novel that you have to use legwork to solve cases, so I guess I'll go ask around in the plaza. See ya, Sam. You can have fun with that. I believe in you. Okay, you can see really far through here. <laughs> Hi. I know the boy detective, crime solver extraordinaire, now with a faithful sidekick. And we've even got a case. Great! Maybe I can help. What kind of case is it? Ask me anything you like. With your keen mind, I'll bet you'll make those, these puzzle pieces fit in no time. Uh, tell me about the incident. You know that storyteller in the city plaza? Well, someone has stolen the last page of one of his stories. Who could it be? Who's your employer? My employer is a storyteller who tells stories to children in the city plaza. He even has news breaks during his stories. Huh. Oh, well, if you have any free time, you could ask around and help me solve this case. Let's see. Really? Then tell me, who is the culprit? One of his regular customers. A spoiler brat. A silent little girl. Otto the boy detective. We do not have the evidence to make a case here. Um... I'm pretty sure it's not one of his regular customers. Oh, I don't remember. I'm 
pretty sure it's a spoiled brat. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna get this wrong. Honestly. Actually, I think he just says, nah, whatever. And what was the motive? Let me see if I've got this straight. What did the culprit use to pull off the crime? Sleeping pills, pink, the power of money, a lie. Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. Alright, let me think about what you just said for a minute. Hmm. <sighs> Darn it! I'm so close! Just a little more information, I think I'd understand the whole case. Same. Hmm. Silence. Ack. How could somebody steal part of my favorite story? I love the Frog Prince. This guy seems confident somebody else stole it. But he's known for lying. And this nervous girl could pretty easily be like, okay, I know it's him. And I'm just not saying because I'm too nervous to. Oh, well, not because this guy is like, has going on about how much super powerful he is, and his dad. Um... I don't know. All signs point to him being a dick, but... <laughs> I'm not entirely sure they point to him being the guy who actually stole it. Still, we'll try. And he's just mean in general. A spoiled brat. To be mean to everyone. Potentially a hatred for the storyteller. Yeah, it is a hatred of the storyteller because the guy was uh, going on about how icky. And he used a lie. He could use sleeping pills. Um, I'm gonna go with sleeping pills. Whatever. Thanks. All right, let me think about what you just said for a minute. Nah, I think you're on the wrong track. Maybe you should go and ask around a bit. Jeez. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. I know who did it. Let's go around. If the storyteller was alive. I think he may be onto something, but maybe you should go and ask around to gather some more information. Okay. Hmm. 
What a situation. I know who did it, it was Otto the Boy Detective, to have a case. <laughs> what was the motive? Okay, looks like sleeping pills are the common thread here. I'm gonna reset the dialogue real quick. We'll see what's going on here for real soon. But they don't have anything to do with the plaza shenanigans. Whenever I get tired of one of our servants, I just hide something and say they stole it. No comment. It really did sound like the guy just fucking hates the dude. And she doesn't have anything to say. Except it wasn't me. Possible it was her with uh, a love for story, a love for the stories and art and stuff. Call the uh, Mr. Jude a red herring. It's one funky house. Jeez, this is the skill shop. <laughs> it's like they got a library back there or something. Hey, sly little girl. The motive was a look for stories. Uh, potentially to add to a collection, but we don't have anything about that yet. And sleeping pills. Thanks for anything about that. I think you may be onto something, but okay. We don't know anything about her. We don't know her motive. Motivation Nation. It's easy to go through these options, and it's essentially what I'm doing. But I don't know. Jeez. It's possible that the dude stole it and uh, 
was doing so specifically to be mean to her. Um, since we already know that he's happy to put blame on folks in general. It sounds like his moti motivation there would be... Uh, I don't know, his motivation there it's like, it would pit, it would pit him as, uh, well, hating the storyteller, but then trying to convince the storyteller, trying to convince people that the storyteller was the one who stole it, which obviously he's not trying to do. Uh... Spilled rats. What was the motive, um, to be mean to everyone? And sleeping pills? Thanks! Alright, let me think about what you just said for a minute. Hmm, how long do you think you're on the wrong track? Okay, bro. Logic puzzle time! Wrong track implies everything is wrong. Um, and they were pretty confident when it was one of his regular customers. Um... So it could have been one of his... Let's see... Um... Do I do a collection? And sleep knows. I think you may be onto something. But maybe you should go and ask around to get some information. Okay, I am interested. Um, since I'm going to treat this as a logic puzzle now. One of his regulars, the motive was to be mean to everyone. And signals. Yeah. Okay, so completely different and same deal. Meaning it's definitely one of his regulars. A hatred of the storyteller? We didn't see anyone who hated the storyteller. Besides the spoiled brat. Um. A love for stories is what the art person was thinking. And sleeping calls is wrong, correct? I love her stories. So close. Okay, fine. Regulars. I love her stories. And they use spade. I don't know. What? Of course! The mystery solved! Thanks, mister! Sort of sum up what you just told me. A little boy who loved stories and telling lies didn't want the story to end, so he lied in order to steal the last page. I think so. You're quite a detective, almost as good as me. Here, take this as the token of my respect. Fearless belt acquired. Come back later, I'll have everything taken care of by then. I don't think the boy meant to do anything wrong. Okay. I admit I was not thinking of that thread. Peerless Belt is, uh, 25. Obviously better than Power Ring. All around. You don't have anything equipped? Why not? Um... Who's that? These are both berserkers now, yes. Mm, Epicu. Okay. Um, let's sleep. Um 
let's explore and check back on auto tomorrow. Let's see how things are. Hi, kid, are you okay? What's wrong? You're shaking and your face is so pale. I don't like these city girls. All I did was give her a traditional island greeting and she got all mad at me. I'll never forget the way her doll's eyes glared at me. It was so scary. Are you going to be alright? Don't you have any idea why she got mad at you? All I did was pinch her nose. That's what we do on the island when we want to be friends. I see. Why don't you try shaking hands with her instead? That should get the message across. I don't think I'll get the chance. She'll probably never want to see me again. These city girls are even scarier than monsters. No. A while ago, I went out drinking with some of my friends from the shipyards. This city is an amazing place. Where'd you go? Some place you don't want the wife to find out about? <laughs> Not so loud. I, I don't go to any places like that. Sure. My bet it was someplace kind of shady at. What are you saying? It wasn't shady at all. J just a little expensive. <laughs> so you ended up spending a lot of money? Okay, maybe it was a little shady. But all I did was drink. Please, don't tell my wife where I went. <laughs> oh. Hi. My son's been acting strange ever since he went to play with his new friends. You don't suppose he's being bullied? Getting in fights is how men get stronger. Don't worry about him. Maybe you're right. But if that's the case, why doesn't he just fight back? Yeah, if he can't fight, maybe he should train with a kung fu master or something and then really show him who's boss. I like the sound of that. Eye of the Tiger, fight! No son of mine is going to lose to these city boys. What'll I do with that boy? I hope he grows up to be a strong man like my husband. Oh my god. <laughs> and the dude doesn't even look... Ah... <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Let's check out the skill shop. Howdy! Oh, these look like books written by the owner of the shop. Maybe I'll take a look. Read a history of skills. A history of skills? Sounds interesting. Skills contain the essence of all knowledge gained by humankind. Anyone can use their power by equipping them. There are many different kinds of skills. Some increase attack power, some reduce MP use, and others have special effects. Using a limited number of skill slots to their best effect is a challenge that faces all of humankind. <laughs> I see. I guess in order to master skills, one must first have a solid understanding of the basics. Read skill books and you. Skill books and you. I've always wanted to know more about skill books. When equipped, skill books give a boost to certain types of skills. There are three types of skills body, mind, and technique. Each skill book will boost one or more types. But that's not the only thing skill books can be used for, they can be sacrificed to create more powerful skills. The author certainly is enthusiastic about his subject. He must have devoted his life to the study of skills. Read Extracting Skills. Extracting Skills? At that point, a new skill will be created. Only by sacrificing skill books can the most powerful skills be found. Oh, like Berserker. As I always say, if you don't need a skill book, destroy it! Extract new skills from it! Remember, if you want to learn more about skills, or if you just need to prepare for battle, extract new skills. He certainly does get excited. Perhaps later. I guess I don't need to read these now. Okay, that's cool though. Uh, it's like framing the characters as, you know, the uh... It's not like it's more than a mechanic. The actual, uh, you know... 
matter of figuring out what skills you're going to use and what skill books you're going to equip. It's still, at the core, a just a really interesting uh, mechanic for the game. I haven't seen any other games do anything quite like it, but then I also haven't played nearly enough games. Anyway, um... But it does sort of frame the characters as caring about it and actually um, thinking about this thing for themselves, which means you can sort of imagine them, it sort of gives a prompt to imagine them thinking about what books and skills they're going to use. It's hilarious that everyone in humankind faces this, though, <laughs> challenge though. My experiment failed. We won't be able to sell that skill. <laughs> Don't you find that it's hard to get rid of your failures? I always thought so when I was building airplanes. True. Whenever I look at a failed skill, I think of all the time I put into researching and testing it. But a failure is a failure. You can't just sit around thinking about the past all the time. You gotta move forward. My boss is currently testing out a skill that makes monsters drop more money. Doesn't seem to work with customers, though. This dust effect is pretty cool. Howdy. Welcome to the exciting world of skills! We can extract new skills from your skill books, you know! I still have so many customers who forget to set up their skills and then complain they don't work! It's terrible. It's not selling it. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch of really basic skills here. Mighty Blow is cool. Um, I'm shocked we don't own it. I'm gonna buy four. I know we could probably just extract it, but yeah. Likewise, let's keep these in mind. They may be good. I want to buy a couple of these just so we have them. Beast counter plus damage to beasts. We're not dealing with any beasts, but let's grab them. Just cause... Like, I'm pretty sure there's no BC around here. Okay. We have a spare of this. It's Earth Mastery and Unshakable Will. That's cool. Yeah, there's not a heck here. Uh, actually, just out of curiosity's sake, what do these extract for again? Sure, by super reflexes. What's reflexes again? Is that yeah, auto guard, prayer, mighty guard, better guard, fire mastery, wave speed. Mighty guard costs three though, which is a pretty expensive thing for a purely passive situation. Probably good against when you're dealing with some bosses though. Wave speed, skill level two, and fire mastery. Nothing else here, though. Look at those skill books. Look at what the symbols on the side are. Are they, like, tiers for the skills, do you think? Group by what kind they are? That would be pretty cool. But then, this is also sort of just a library. But I guess, I don't know, what was Donna reading? Sure. Also, I wonder what happens if you come here with other, like, before you have Donna. I guess it'll say other stuff. I can't remember if we ever, yeah, we do get the chance to take Heck to explore the world. Uh, when she joins her party for a brief time. Spoilers. Okay, let's check out the magic place. I'm pretty sure these shops don't change their, um... Whoa. What is this diagram? Dang, I've never actually recognized it. This looks really cool. Ah, I see the old theory about mana egg fusion took hold here as well. An old theory? Yes, long ago there was a great wizard who came up with a theory for how mana eggs might be combined together. 
but his theory was based on a misunderstanding of how mana eggs work. Everyone who's tried using it has failed. His theory has become commonly accepted elsewhere, but in Bacula we weren't exposed to it. But my old magic teacher said that the existence of this chart proved that mana egg fusion was once performed. That mistaken theory was the only one that was handed down over the years. The art of fusion itself never existed here. Wow, Donna, you could be a history teacher! Two types of magic draw together, collide, shatter, then fuse into one. So then they ended up figuring out something completely different. And... Do you think these are specifically, like, tools built to, uh, do that combination stuff? Where do they suck up into? I can't see the top of it. Also, there's, like, this whole arcade thing I've done before. That's cool. What did you got to say? I wonder what would happen if we look at this at a different point. It's always questions like that, right? <laughs> what does Hex think of this, right? Like, all these things. Hey, mister! Have you done any fusion recently? If not, you don't know... Fusion? Gosh darn it. Have you done any fusion recently? If not, you don't know what you're missing. Fusion? Aha, uh -huh, I didn't think so. Wait a minute, don't tell me you don't know what fusion is. You know, don't you? What about you, lady? You know about fusion, right? Um, yes, of course. Don't you, don't you know, Yuki? Uh, well, sure I do. <laughs> I haven't done it for a long time, though. Darn right, you haven't lived until you done fusion a few times. <laughs> Wait, what's Fugin again? Oh my god, his face changed? In Bacula, we have something called Mana Egg Fusion. Is this what you're talking about? That's it! But you guys sure are funny. Everyone's pretend they knew what it was. <laughs> Very funny. Just remember, if you use all your mana eggs for magic extraction, you won't have any left over for fusion! She's cute. Welcome. If you have any mana eggs, we can extract magic from them. Amazing. And just basic stuff here. Although we can get more digging, which is, uh... Maybe, why not? Oh, okay. You have four. Yeah, sure, fine. Sorry. And nothing else, right? No. Well, snooze. But whatevs. We don't really need more than one of that. Meteor Strike, oh, you are. Crackle Fang and Erebos. Erebos is tempting. But this is what we're using as our equip. <laughs> Dang. We could combine these two and get a either egg or whatever it's called. I think it's called either egg. I'm not sure. Cool. We can get that, but we can just buy those spells. I heard that something called mana egg fusion is possible. They say it can be used to create powerful mana eggs. Yeah, but like we don't have to go back and forth to extract things. So once we unlock it at Bacula. Bacula, of course, is the only place that, uh, has mana egg fusion, per all the reasons that Donna described. Yo, stuff going on here, what's up? <laughs> Oof. My wife seems strangely happy about the idea of moving away from here. Whew, you could use a mint. But why does she want to move? Doesn't she like it here in Mendy? It's not that. But she thinks if we sell our liquor store and move someplace else, we could start a new business. I see. And you won't be able to drink away all your profits. <laughs> oh, I just end up drinking somewhere else. 
Hey, do you really think that's what she has in mind? I feel sorry for my wife, but I just can't stop drinking. Bro, I'm sorry. What do you think, young man? Wouldn't it be a terrific idea to build an airport here? It'd be the first of its kind in the world. You mean for airplanes, right? Yeah, that'd be great. Are you gonna build one? Indeed I am. Soon, airplanes from all over the world will be stopping here in Mendy. There'll be a huge runway where hundreds of planes can take off and land, and crowds of pilots coming and going. Indeed, it will be a true port of the air. Anyone will be able to travel anywhere just by coming to Mendy. So everyone will be able to fly anytime they want. That's fantastic! When it's finished, you have to let me help out. Of course! This is going to be my last act as president of Mendy Shipping. I have to do it right! You're a pilot, are you not? When the airport is finished, you'll have to come and be one of our drivers. <laughs> a driver? But I'm a pilot! I'm getting excited for the first time in years. When the airport is finished, you'll have to come be one of our drivers. Hell yeah. So. Uh, sure, if it's quick. Back in a few. They want to tear down this area. I own the land around here, but I was pretty surprised when I heard about it. What? Are some bad guys coming in to attack the city? No, Wolf. Some developers want to build something called an airport here. How do you know, Ulf? Ulf and you, like, BFFs? Are you guys friends? Do we really need an airport here in Mendy? I don't have any idea what they are. An airport is kind of like a harbor, but for airplanes. Dozens of planes will fly in and out all the time. If they had something like that here, people could go to lots of new places a lot more easily. I see, but we already have a harbor. If you'd just ride in a plane once, I'm sure you'd understand. If we had an airport, everyone could fly anytime they want. But is that a good thing? Well, I guess I'll ask them a little more about it and see. <laughs> okay. I am glad that these folks are getting educated. Well. I guess this is Laker Blades. Hi, Schmidt! Schmidt's not here. I don't know where Schmidt is, but he's not here. Oh, never mind, I fit. <laughs> well, it looks like you've gotten the hang of your new wings, kid. I can tell by the sound of the engine. She's accepted you as her pilot. Really? But don't let your guard down. The best airplanes are also the hardest to control. Well, if it isn't my friend the Dragon Rider. How's your dragon doing? He's just fine. Why? Those wings of his have a very interesting shape. How about selling me one for my research? What? <laughs> Can't take a joke, huh? 
You meant it. I could see it in your eyes. <laughs> Saber's wings kind of remind me... This Saber? Sheba? Sheba's wings kind of remind me of, uh... The marking... The... I don't know, communicator's mark? Yeah. I'm sure it's unrelated, but... <laughs> Look at all the trophies that Schmidt's won. They sure do sparkle. Someday I'm gonna win a flying contest, too. Yep. I wonder what this plane will look like when it's finished. Libra! How's my flight unit? Great, I don't need to recharge it yet. Yeah, we just kind of carry that around, don't we? <laughs> nice. You feel blind without the mini-map. <laughs> Look at this thing. It's huge. Okay, cool enough. Jeez. <laughs> Alright. They're pretty much done in Mendy. But there's still one more place to check. Uh, where is it? Hi! Jeez, you look. Are you okay? Well, now, are you all going to visit Schmidt together? Isn't that nice? You want to come too? I appreciate the invitation, but if I'm going to go, I'll be going alone. I'm an individualist. Is that a real thing? I've never heard of that. You sure? This is your chance to make your case with Schmidt. You've been waiting for years. That's right. They call me Sleeper Billy because I'm so patient. I've been waiting here for 16 years. But that's all coming to an end. At last, the Sleeper will awaken, you see? Sure. Wait. No. What are you talking about? I'm going to get my own wings. And I'm not having Schmidt make them either. I'd better not say any more. I've spent so long fixated on Schmidt that I forgot the basics. I can make a plane myself. I've been such a fool. I wonder if we see him at Rathlet later. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, I wanted to uh, sleep at the place real quick. Just to check and find out if the stuff with Otto and the, uh, the frog prints are going to be fixed up. But before that, I want to head down. Jeez, like. <laughs> oh, also, I don't think we ever talked to this guy's girlfriend. Unless she's on the other side of the, uh. Divide. Over here! Mendy Point. Which sounds like the name of a whole town, but it's really not. Sheba certainly has been a great help to us. Are you sure two people aren't too heavy for him? Not at all. He's used to carrying heavy weights. Oh, by the way, Doc. If you'd like to thank Sheba directly, why not try speaking his language? Say screech! Sheba's language? I don't think I can do it. Screech? Screech! Is that right? <laughs> okay, I'm totally trying all these. I don't think I can do it. Mm, maybe he didn't understand. Screech? Screech! Did I make him mad? 
No, no, he was just saying, it's an honor to be spoken to in my own language by such a beautiful young lady. <laughs> really? Well, the honor is mine. Thank you for letting me ride you, Sheba. Screech, is that right? S Screech? He seems to be asking me something. What should I say? Screech, screech? Screech! Screech! <laughs> How could you ask something like that, Donna? Anyway, his answer is, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm already engaged. <laughs> what? You mean to say that I just proposed to him? I don't know what the de- <laughs> uh, I guess that's just a fucking trope. Oops, you fucking speak a language you're totally unfamiliar with and uh, end up accidentally proposing. He seems to be asking me something. What should I say? Screech! Cheep, cheep. Oh, that wasn't his usual screech. Did he understand what I was saying? In other words, you and I are both children of the Guardians. A very commendable attitude. What's he talking about? Don't ask me. Cute. Oh. I like it. <laughs> Again, like, jeez, showing heck everything would be very cool. It's like, a billion hours before we get there, but yay. Okay. Sleep. Hey, all. Welcome. It's so nice to see you, Alfina. Now that you're here, why don't you stay for dinner? Yeah, I think it's the same supper. Meat! Vegetables! Bread! Wow, everything looks great! Now this is what a real meal should look like! Bread made from wheat nurtured by the sun and the rain. I can almost taste the warmth of Mother Nature in it. Yuki, wasn't that f Yeah. There's so much life in this world. We have to protect it, don't we? Shall we go? The Guardian's waiting. What? Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute? Well, you just started eating. What's the rush, Donna? Uh, sorry. Oh, alright. Ah, man. I'm not even close to being full, but... Okay, let's go. <laughs> Quick exit. Don is like, I am not having this conversation again. <laughs> cool. Let's see if things are changed around here or if we're gonna have to wait till the next story event. I wouldn't be surprised if we gotta wait. But I'm curious. The father of the kid who stole the storyteller's page is one of our servants, you know? He's our doorman. What kind of person is, is his father? Typical poor slob. He doesn't have two G to rub together, but he loves money. That's why he's always sucking up to us. I got the last page of the Frog Prince from that boy. Imagine him not wanting the story to end. It's flattering. I guess so. But all stories have to have an ending. But maybe children are different. They're content to let the dream go on forever. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh. Uh. The story's over, and it was so much fun, too. I could have listened to it forever. Yeah, but it has to end sometime. Otherwise, you'd never be able to hear a new story. Yeah, but... But if somebody stole the first page of the story, it couldn't start, could it? That kid was saying he couldn't stand to look at his dad. <laughs> I wouldn't want him as my dad, either. I'm sorry, I stole the page that says the end on it. Did you apologize to the storyteller? Tell the truth, no more lying now. Yes, I told him everything. I'm always lying and I don't tell the truth very often, but... This time you did, that's wonderful. No, it's not. 
But the storyteller sure was happy. I guess telling the truth is okay sometimes. I did something pretty bad, didn't I? Everybody was looking forward to the end of the story, too. I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Hi. I hear that kid gave back the very, the last page of the Frog Prince story. And I was in the middle of redrawing that page, too. I guess it won't be necessary. If you're just going to throw it away, why don't you give it to that little boy? I'm sure he'd love it. Yes, he does always come to hear the stories I've illustrated. I should give it to him for coming clean. Ah. 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 So the culprit was that little liar, huh? I guess some kids will do anything for a little attention. Don't be so hard on him. He's just a kid. And he apologized. Yeah, when I was a kid, I'd bite the other kids to get attention. And sometimes I'd belch real out. I'm not sure you're helping, Alf. That kid has to learn that honesty is the best policy. Yeah, this is totally the voice I was using for her earlier. Sorry. <laughs> What's here? Oh, this is the general store. I never even went here. Oops. Don't think there's too much here, though. This armor looks like it would be terribly hot. You'd die of heat stroke if you tried to wear something like this in Bacula. <laughs> I suppose that's why no knights ever bothered to invade Bacula back in the old days. Say, are you using your weapon's elemental alignment properly? Well, I'm not sure. I think so. For example, the flame rod they sell here has a fire alignment. As you might expect, if you use it against enemies that are vulnerable to fire, you'll do a lot of damage. I didn't know that. But those poor monsters. <laughs> but you're always beating monsters over the head with that staff of yours. Anyway, give it a try. Got a thunder staff. It's wind. There are lots of weapons with different alignments, so give them all a try. They can really come in handy. Yes, if only there were more. There's only like two in the game that we can get. There are a bunch that. Oh, let's see. Welcome, welcome. We've got everything from weapons to bandages. What can I get ya? Yeah, see, they got the flame rod, and they got the flame sword, but they're so weak. They have slightly better weapons over in, uh... Over in... Where is it? Uh, Bacula, but that's only in disc one. We didn't buy them. Cute. Initiative plus two, move plus two. It's balanced. Nice. Don't need any of this. Have we any bombs? No. Cool. How about you? What's up? If I didn't have my antidotes and torch free pipes, I don't know what I'd do. You feel the same way, right? We don't need all that junk. Sleep and poison goes away after a while anyway. It's just a waste of money. But well, you do have a bunch of monsters around you while you can't move. You may be conscious, but unable to move, unable to fight back, or even run as they attack you. How horrible! I, ah! Cut it out! You're a lot scarier than any monster I've ever seen! Anyway, you never know what'll happen, so make sure you have some antidotes and torch reed pipes. Jeez. Look at those... Daggers? Swords? These look cool. But amazing, but amazing. Okay. Let's see if those kids work things out. Over, uh, right here. Yeah, okay. Ladies over there. Did she just go and get a new boyfriend? That sucks. She needs to find a girlfriend.
camp. <sighs> oh god, they look like they're still breaking in. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's go check on Otto. Hey, mister! That kid gave the last back of the story back to the storyteller! I guess everything turned out alright then. The storyteller can finish his story now. Yep, I don't know if he was more surprised or happy when he got that page back. He had a strange expression on his face. Well, I wonder what my next case is going to be. I, Otto the Boy Detective, will solve any case brought to me. <laughs> the mystery of the... The mystery of the missing page is solved. Thanks for all your help. We couldn't have done it without you. We just helped a little bit. It was nothing. Don't be so modest. I've got to work harder as Otto's assistant if I'm going to live up to your example. Beautiful. Okay. And everything here should be the same. Can't imagine they work things out now. Aw, I'll leave them be. Cool. Okay. Then good. Let's head back to the plane then. Hashtag running facing the side just so that uh it's just less laggy. Yolki and Alfina. Alfina. I wonder how that would be, uh, written in, uh, Japanese. We're back! It's so sorrow. It's when we say goodbye to Miranda and Alonzo, right? Like, we left Yugi's mom here. Of course it's gonna be sort of a cheery place. Still, it's quite beautiful. Hour and a half in Mendy. <laughs> oh boy. Let's head to Anfog. Phages is a large jungle south of the Bacularan Desert. You'd better find a place to land in advance. I know, but I want to check Anfog first. See how people are doing over there. We're still just back from the verse room after all. Is that a volcano? Why is there a volcano here? Jeez. Oh my god, this camera is tough to control. What the heck? Oh my god. Okay, well that's not the way. <laughs> oh yeah, that's cool. There's one famous jungle on the map particularly. Cute. Okay. They don't explicitly say this is north. <laughs> Um, to Savitar, then. And Fog. Which is south. The map doesn't loop around, which is pretty... Well, what's going on there? Yes, I know. Jeez. It's like smoking. I'm gonna fly right through it. Whee! <laughs> Where are we? I think I'm just 
train run. Hey, is anybody there? Is anybody flying nearby? Take a look at my new plane! What happened? You finally get the Schmidt custom job you've been waiting? Wanting? Nah, he just won't sell those planes of his. But look, I got a brand new paint job. Oh god. It's storming. Ah! It's so scary! This is legitimately... Pretty fucking beautiful, IMO. Not bad. I'm surprised that penny pinching wife of yours let you do it, though. Uh, I haven't told her yet. Beautiful. Darkrift Temple. Oof. Alright, next we'll try a sudden increase in altitude. Pull back on the stick. Yes, I did it, sir. You idiot! You have to let go of the stick sometime! Now we're going into a loop! Whoa, what the heck is that? There's a giant whale floating in the sky. Yep. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's cute! I never knew you could actually see Yuki and Alfina inside. <laughs> Too bad you can't see Shiba trailing behind. Oh, that's cute. Look at that. Yo. <laughs> Jeez, in the storm, too. Here we are. Shitty weather. <laughs> A quiet village nestled in the mountains. Time here seems to flow more slowly than in other places. What the heck? That is one interesting tidbit of info. Hold on, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna read the rest of the dialogue. Why are you, you can, you can, you can, you can, I believe in you. Anfog has been known for its pottery for hundreds of years. Wine drunk from Anfog goblets is said to taste especially good. That's trivia? <laughs> Look at that! The big old launch pad of Yuki's thing. That's a pretty cute overview. I haven't heard this song in decades. So, Yuki, what does it feel like now that you have an airplane you can go anywhere you want? I never really thought about it. But I kind of feel like it doesn't matter what happens as long as I can fly. <laughs> How nice. You know, I asked the same question to Rots when he came back a while ago. He said, when I fly in my plane, I feel like an eagle. The sense of freedom I get is just amazing. Wow, that doesn't sound much like Rots. I wonder if he's changed. 
Maybe a bit. Now that you mention it, you seem a bit more grown up yourself. I guess everyone changes when they finally get to see the outside world. I think it's wonderful for people to change, but I feel kind of like I'm getting left behind. Yo, you can see far. Let's go check out the treehouse! He's not still here, of course, but... Hmm, <laughs> that ladder shadow. Bird. Oh my god. Rocks, your bird! Who's taking care of your bird? You got drawn up there. Huh? He's a painter too? Huh. Cool. All those plane diagrams. This model here. And a big picture. I can't tell if it's a map of the world or not. I think it looks more like a drawing of some sort. Whoa, it's right in here. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> that rots. You'd think he could at least clean up his room before he left. No, not him. Look at that mom picture of a plane. Guess he probably drew painted that too. That's pretty cool. Unless Yuki's secretly a painter. <laughs> probably not since he's never mentioned it. But it's cute to imagine them hanging together. Painting and uh, doing models. Then again, it could just as easily be that Rods was painting while Yuki was doing some diagrams. Though Rods was always the one who was doing more of the... At least judging by, uh, Yuki's perfectly happy... being perfectly happy to just saw off the thing. Hi! Y Yuki! Hey! Hey! Is that an airplane? Yup, she's mine! I flew all the way over the sea from the mainland! You're kidding! But just a bit ago, I saw... Me flying, right? <sighs> wow! You were really flying? You were flying up in the sky! Cool! And I used to make fun of your airplanes. But now, I'm kind of jealous of you, Yuki. You can fly too, Cup. As long as you want it badly enough. Yuki, that thing can really fly up in the sky? Ah. Uh -huh. The wrench. The ladder to the runway. When there was an airplane up there waiting for me, this was like a ladder to heaven. <laughs> you can still see a mark. This is where we hung up the plants that Rots and I argued so much about. This is where it all started. My dream. Pretty much cleared out now. Whoa. <laughs> There's an act. These are actual lifts in the floor. That's pretty cool. Beautiful. I don't think there's an inn here. There might be. I don't think so, though. Hello. Looking at Cop's face these days, I can't help but get interested in flying too. He's always so wide-eyed. Cop? Cop it? Cop. Whatever. Is he the boy in the garage? Yes, his eyes did have a certain shine to them. Don't you think? Yeah, but kid's gonna have dreams. 
Always chasing after pots of gold under rainbows. That's how kids should be. That's how kids should be. Are you doing all right, sir? Well then, Mr. Clay, what kind of pot would you like to become? Go on, you can tell me. Well, I'd like to be a brown, rough, and very plain-looking pot, Carson. Rough and plain-looking pot, you say? Well, let's start kneading you up a bit. Just stand still. Oh boy, thank you, Garcon. I love you. You'll make me into a wonderful pot. I know it, and you're not crazy at all. La 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 lay, I'm rolling out my clay. Rolling, 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 though my hands are swollen. Oh, not there. That tickles. Ouch, not so hard. Oh, Garcon, you're so mean. Just scream there. Yes, I can feel it. I've almost got it. The perfect pot is in my reach. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh god. Um, Garson. Wait, Yuki, I think we should leave him alone. Um, is there someone there? Just a minute, this is getting interesting. Let him talk. Make me sick. What? <laughs> Fools, I was right in the middle of a positive imagery exercise. Oh, sorry. We really didn't mean to intrude. Be gone, trespassers. Sure, we won't tell anybody what we saw, we swear. These are, there are none so blind as those who will not see. Remember that, Yuki. Yes, I am about to become a legend. I'm onto something big. I know it. <laughs> Poor Yuki. This is what his life was... This is probably what he thinks his life was destined to be. <laughs> if he didn't get out of there with his plane. He still likes the place. Just that wasn't the thing for him. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go over here. Field. The magic shop. What's up? This place is cute. It's cozy. I like it. Welcome! Can I interest you in some magic? I've made it right here in Anthog Village. Handmade magic. Already got plenty, but um, uh, yeah, cool. Feel free to come in and see me anytime. There are many people who can use magic here and don't get much business. <laughs> Miranda's house. Empty, presumably, but let's have a look. Mm hmm. Hey, Yuki! Whose room is that up there? That's my room, but you can't go in. It's a mess. Really? Are you sure there isn't some other reason? What do you mean? Of course not. There's just a bed up there. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh my god. It's wilted a bit. Well, it did sort of just rip some of its leaves off, after all. Bro. Oh.
uh, camera AI. Uh, target offset. <laughs> what the heck? Ham. Oh, I think it's because we're staying still too long. Look at that! Yeah, it's a room! Yep. No night, it's a bed. He got a bed. He got a globe. Or oh, does he have a globe? I don't know. He got some books. It is not a mess up here, though. Come on. <laughs> Look at that. I can't imagine it's solid, is it? No. Beautiful. Did my world off, thank you. <laughs> Cute. Miranda's room. <laughs> Nothing much in here. Do you guys not attractive at all? So cute. Yep, that's just the room. It's cute. <laughs> What's here? The general store? Huh? Hello. Oh, hello, Yuki. Welcome. Rots was here a while ago, did you know that? Rots? So that means he got an airplane? That's right! He was doing some amazing mid-air flips with it, too! Wow! Time sure flies! Why, I remember when you and Rots came here to buy that gizmo of yours! The flight unit? You gave us a big discount, didn't you? Well, I knew how hard the two of you were working to save money. It was the least I could do. Thanks to you, I've got a plane now. I really appreciate it. <sighs> you certainly worked hard. Saving your allowance, doing odd jobs. It was hard work, but we had a goal in mind, so it wasn't too bad. You certainly worked hard. <laughs> Excellent. This chicken! Jeez. Cute. Hello, mister. How are you? So there's another pilot around now, eh? Amazing! Yup. Small sword. I never would have thought we'd have two pilots come from our village. Maybe I'll be selling planes one day. <laughs> Hello! Hey Yuki! Which do you think is faster? Your airplane or Roxy's? It's hard to say without raising him, but... I'm sure I can beat him! He said he wouldn't lose even if you did get Schmidt to make you a plane. That Roxy, he always did have a big mouth. I'll show him sooner or later. <laughs> if you two have a showdown, make sure you do it in fog. I'm not sure who to root for, though. Don't forget, you and Rots are gonna have a showdown! Everyone in Avog will be behind you both! Cool. Pretty neat that Rots is the talk of the town. We really don't see him for most of the game, but he keeps existing. Hello! Oh, Yuki! Do you know why airplanes can fly? I just heard myself! Well, the wings create lift, which in turn... That's right! Wings! Those little birds must flap their wings faster than the eye can see! What are you talking about? Airplanes! They're made up of thousands of birds just flapping their little wings off! Didn't you know? 
Uh, who told you that? Why, Rots, of course! That young man certainly does know a lot of things. You could learn a thing or two from him. Rots, eh? Guess he just didn't want to take the time to explain it. I knew something made of wood and metal couldn't fly. Those birds just pretend to be machines, but I can tell. Hi. Strange things are happening. I hear the saboteur fishmonger had to close up shop because the fish just aren't biting. Could the Verse Fears be affecting Anfog Village, too? A Verse Fear? What's that? It's a kind of portal that's been opening up and sucking in houses and ships. Even people! We have to stop them. Is that right? I guess you must get to see all sorts of things we've never heard of riding around an airplane. I guess so. But there's still so much I don't know about the world. I'd like to ride an airplane someday, see the world with Gladys, or maybe a solo trip. Yes, I like the sound of that. Lovely. <laughs> it's cool that Yuki enjoys um, exploring things just as much as the player does. natural with the whole airplane theme and all that, but yeah. Hi. Yuki, we've got a nice drop of tomatoes. You'll be leaving soon, won't you? Why don't you take some? Wow, thanks. <laughs> all of Polly's tomatoes are amazingly sweet and delicious. Really? Then I guess I'll kick back and snack on some tomatoes during our next flight. <laughs> be careful, my young-tailed friend. Uh, my tomatoes have been known to be habit-forming. I better watch out then. I don't want to become a tomato junkie. Don't worry, you can get more anytime you want. Take your time when you eat those tomatoes. They're not an easy crop to grow, you know. Lovely. The Pottery Master's house. Notably not Gasson. Pottery. Master Gregor, time certainly does fly. You're actually flying, and my apprentice has managed to fire a pot without burning it. Now that you mention it, I guess all I did was crash there for a while, huh? Speaking of time flying, my 15th anniversary's coming up. I'd like to do something for my wife, but I'm so darn busy. No one is living in Rots' little hut at the moment. You don't suppose anything will happen to it, do you? It's a tough little house. It'll be fine. I almost forgot all the villages came together to help build it, didn't they? Ah. Uh. Yes, it was about five years ago. We all pitched in to give Rots a place to live. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, all of a sudden, he said he wanted to build a house and start living on his own. After his parents passed on, he lived with many different people. And I guess all sorts of things must have happened. Yeah, and yet everyone was willing to help him build a house. It turned out pretty well, too. Yes, we've got to keep it there so he can come back to the village anytime he wants. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Rots! Oh! Oh! Cause like, he was always the more... Oh my god. This is awesome. This is fucking awesome. This just... Oh. This is a piece of backstory you only find out by coming here. 
Oh, that's so good, too. Especially since everything else in Anfog right now is so focused on talking about Rods. It's like this is specifically a segment built, made, to build his character. Oh my god. I like this game. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> that's so cool. Yo, how's it going? Hi, Yuki. You know, you don't really seem like someone from Hanfrog Village. Oh, why? You've got a flashy girl and a wild beast. You fly all over the place in an airplane. You're the only villager like that. A flashy girl? Who's a wild beast? <laughs> now, Rots, even after leaving the village, he's still one of us. And his airplane is just like the pots we make here. Nice and plain. A plain plane, huh? He never was much for decorations. Well, let's just say it's not particularly flashy. Old Garcon saw it and got so excited, he thought it was a flying pot. <sighs> anyway, it's natural looking. That's what's nice about Anfog. You don't have to worry about fancy clothes or fashion. Huh, this is so cute. I like it. I like I was just thinking about since we got everyone concentrated here. Um cool stuff. I think we've been most places now. Yes, thank you. Tomatoes. Hello. Listen, do you hear anything in the sound of the rushing water there? Mm, not really. Oh you hear anything? No, I think the old guy's hearing things. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I've been listening to the water day after day for years. And it seems almost like it talks to me. Good morning, good afternoon, nice weather we're having. I think I know what you mean. Yuki's always saying how the sky seems to talk to him. Right, Yuki? That's true. It seems like the wind and the sky are telling me, go, fly. So I guess I understand. Ho oh, ho ho, the sky talks to you, does it? Anything as big and wide as the sky must be very wise indeed. That's straight. We missed someone down here. Um, where is he? Yeah. Hi. Hey, Grant. What are you looking at up in the sky there? I'm looking at an eagle. It's circling way up there. He's like a king surveying his kingdom. There were birds like that in Arcraft too. You could see their silhouettes against the sun. And that's the way it's always been too. But who knows what'll happen now with all these planes flying everywhere. Mankind has wanted to fly since the very beginning, and now we finally can. Pretty great, huh? Maybe you're right. In any case, soon there won't be anywhere that human beings can't go. For some reason, that makes me sad. What'll happen to our friend the Eagle? This path is so big. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the first formal dungeon in the game. Pretty wild that the game starts you at the first fight area in the dark. It makes for an epic setting though.
lovely. <laughs> Heading out. Awesome. Well, Tivagus. Yeah, that was only half an hour here. <laughs> 20, 30 minutes. The game automatically points you towards where you're supposed to go. It is pretty handy. It's weird, you can actually see a little spot for milk on the uh, map. That's the next dungeon. We're not there yet, though. It's just a floating castle. You get too close and you can access it. It's wild. I say it got eaten by, up by one of those black orbs. Oh, it's snowy here. Oh my god. Anyone in the sky or on the ground, please listen to me. My hometown is gone. I tried landing my white village and everybody there had turned into glass. This is plane number two of the Jewel Shipping Company. I am currently transporting sick people over Savitar. Over. This is the Jewel Control Room. Transportation of passengers goes against company regulations. Over. What? But they're suffering! You expect me to just abandon them? Over. Come in, plane number two. Plane two. The control room seems to have lost contact with plane two. From this point onward, the pilot of plane two will have to operate on his own judgment. Yeehaw! She spoke to me! She's gonna be alright! I love you, Dorothy, sweetheart! Over! You're supposed to be out of radio contact, you idiot! We can actually see Vegas from here? Yeah, I guess it's right there! Can we check Rafflid? Probably not since you haven't been there yet. What? Get to check Rafflid's out soon. A dense subtropical jungle? It is said that vast ruins lie somewhere deep inside. Explorers were stunned by the gigantic carvings of human faces they found there. Proof of a great civilization now lost. Here we are! Is Saber really hiding in this jungle somewhere? If we can trust Relia's memory, but I, uh... 
Let's go find him and hear what he has to say. You're determined? Focus now. <laughs> okay, we've been playing two hours. I am happy to um, check out this dungeon since it's been a while since I played. Vegas Jungle Entrance. Here goes. Okay, um, one thing to keep note of is that once we end up at the uh, actual ruins that they mentioned, um, we are gonna have to um, keep an eye out because there's these golem enemies that you can fight, and we're gonna want to make sure that we get a special drop for them. A very good sword, which I believe increases the drop rate of enemies considerably. And I want that, because I've never gotten it before. <laughs> oh god. Let's check him out. Bunch of new enemies. Flying Eater. Chameleon. Vagus Mushroom. And Giant Crawfish. Let's get our things boosted. Hey, I'll stay in range of Donna, please. <laughs> Keep an eye on my no, yes, thank God. Card. Give us strength. Uh, what? Oh God. Yeah, okay. Defend through that. <laughs> Oof, that's gonna hit everyone. Oof, disease! That's no good. We don't have Halva for that. Oof. Let's see. Well, the chameleon's about to use camouflage, and that's a sucky move. But I don't think there's a lot we can do about it. We can focus on the flying eater. Let's try the chameleon. Ooh, oh my god. Oh, Brutal. Why are you so strong against that? Crazy thing. Okay. We might want to get uh, that... Uh... There's a specific wand that Alfina has that could be good for its special effect. For now, though. Why don't you have Runner? Aren't you supposed to have Runner? Tons of guards. Oh, cards of light. Hear my call. Protect me. Goodbye. Yo. This is his last move. We obviously aren't going to be using it, but yeah. How much damage is that Vegas Mushroom going to take? Its combo is 203%. God, 3400 damage. Nice. Well, he was going to learn it eventually. Congrats. Good job, bro. Uh, there's a billion of them? What are they doing? Summon L. Oh, don't do that. Flash! I feel the power. Huh. <laughs> Yos. That's right. Time for Jeez. 
He was just about to get a hit and not able to cast this. I might cancel it. Nice. Oh, I forgot to uh, get the oh, staff equipped on Alfina. Gotta keep that in mind. Protect me. Don't do it. Okay, it's gonna do it. Oh well. Kill you. Bitch, you can't <laughs> barely you faster than it. <laughs> keep an eye on my Shadow. No, two of them. Ah. Where are you? Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot to apply well. Oops. <laughs> oh god. Confusion bolts? This could be bad. Oh, this could actually hurt. Damn. Hey, Alfina. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Maybe this will knock her out of it? Oh, but it's just gonna re-inflict it. Oh no. What can we do? Alright, here's some protection. Who's about to use it? Anyone else who hasn't reached it yet? No. Oof. Donna! Leave this to me. Why has Alfina just been not getting impacted? Maybe she's got resistances or something? Oh god. An octopus. Oh god, <laughs> that's brutal. Gonna be honest, getting the heck out of here seems like a good idea right about now. Sleep. Leave this to me. Yo. Don't die. <laughs> hmm. I was thinking of fleeing, and I still might, but I want to get through it without. Oof. Please don't confuse him. Nice. Oh, okay. That's not good. Get some of those to get hit by. Nice counter. Yeah. Nothing much better. Oh no, she got paralyzed. Oh damn it. Yugi, don't do that. <laughs>
No, don't do it. Two. Oh. She's in the air. Like, this is aerial combo a bull. Oh, double god. Rip. 1200 damage. That's right. Time for bed. Sleep. Don't do it. No. Survive. Oh, hell yes. Damn it. Don't give up yet. Oh god. Who are you targeting? Hey, Alf. End of IP gauge, please. You're fast. You got this. Oh god. Time to rise and shine. At least it's keeping two of the awake ones occupied, at least. Hey Yugi, do you want your confusion to just wear off right now? That would be cool. It's okay. I'll be fine. No? Okay. I'll have to end. Not complaining. Damn. Brutal. Oh, thanks. That was actually pretty good. News! We cannot be having these I'll things awake! Uh, That's since right. last time, I did some math. I don't think I mentioned it. And, uh... Turns out that boosting your thing with a stronger amount of eggs do actually make far stronger... Um, magic. Um... It's just, it changes the multiplier per resilience. Or magic. <laughs> yeah, I'm just nulling that damage. Don't summon allies. Okay. Jeez, though. Let's get out of here. This is a worthless fight. What the fuck? She survived. <sighs> Time to recover. <laughs> oh god. News. Time for bed. Stay asleep, y'all. Uh, I feel the power. <laughs> nice. Cancel it, please. That would be cool. My Nice. That's 
right. Time for Stay down. Oof. The warrior card. Give us strength. And he doesn't even have. Shut up, here. Okay. Bet you can't tell which one is me. <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow. Not quite dead. Who are you gonna go after yeah. next? Yeah. Nice! Yeah. Lucky yes. Yeah, that's considerably more doable when they can't move. <laughs> really Let's go get something to eat. Oh god. Well, that's an experience. Oof. Has anyone else all heal? No. Nobody else has heal for that matter. Oop. What were you doing? Get out of here. Go. This is where... This is the kind of situation that, uh, calls for comparable strategizing. Can't tell which one Excuse me. me. <laughs> Keep an eye on my shadow. Oh my god, mating call. I get it. Jeez. Summon 26 of them, why don't you? Yeah. How much does this use cost? It's only 9. That's not bad. No one's attacking it. Witness the true power of my card. Come on. Hit before Ulf's attack connects. Oh well, obviously it's gonna be before, but uh Who is Ulf targeting? That's right. Time for bed. Oh, who are you after? That one? <laughs> oh my god, don't break up! Get together! No! No! Okay, this is fine. I'll just go in first. Oh god damn it. Yuki! 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 Come on. Go meet up with Ulf. Go chill with Ulf. Thank you. <laughs> the warrior card. Give us strength. Oh god. I'm not sure what skill is effective against these guys. Like what species they are. You're dead. 
Oh jeez, it flew away. Come on, it would have died. Annoying. Why not? Don't do it, bro. Jeez, look at that. Your mind scatter like the autumn leaves. Shadow all flying around. Yo. Jeez, like. Don't do it. Do not do it. Okay, who's doing the mating calls? You! Oh god, you're getting crazy, Fang. Yeah, that's probably priority. Oh god. At least it wasn't a counterattack. No! Ah! That's so longer. Oh well, just one more. Thanks, Alfina. Your 3% damage boost is appreciated. Okay. These guys are considerably less of a threat. We did it! And better experience? Well, I guess we just killed a lot more of them. Eh, skill level up. That's always good. Get out of here. Get this. Cure powder. Nice. Now, I'm kind of scared that these guys are going to fucking try to quake us or something. Which would be annoying. Nope. Fungus and stuff, but nothing like that. They're in the back, meanwhile, of course. Warrior card. Give us strength! Yes. Do not do it. Thank you. Nice. Dead. <laughs> Is that a counterattack? Jeez! Nice! I'm still going after him. Awesome! It is so very, very dead. <laughs> nice! Alright! We did it! Good stuff! Battle settings. Oh yes. Battle records! Max damage. Max aerial combo is 20 meters. Let's say combo 20 minutes. Max damage is 5326 damage. Nice. I don't know what font that is. I can't remember how else it's used. It seems familiar. Hello. Gravity egg! Is that what Alpha has equipped? Yes. <laughs> Bye. No! Run! Oh god. Where are we going? No! Don't come here. Leave me be. Veteran book! Tech 3, body 2. Huh. Yeah, I'm not complaining. Berserker is more important to me than, uh, Warrior's Way. Great strength. That's cool. wonder what you can extract from that. Oh god. Okay, I know this is the exit, but... Where are you going? Ag! Oh god. Well, this is a situation now, isn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't make sense for that one. Oh god. Here comes disease! X3. Oh, how slash this is suboptimal. Oof. Jeez, Elf, you're just sticking right there. Alright, here's some protection. Optimal, do not die. Generally speaking. Oof. Leave this to me. Stay where you are, Yuki. Thank you. The warrior card. Give us strength. Voice. Nice counter. Easy kill. And I'll paralyzed. <laughs> so awful. That is so weak. Bye bye. Yeah, it's still here. It's just invisible. Oh god. So it can still do whatever it wants. Alfina fell asleep. Shout out to Yuki for, uh, not getting paralyzed or put to sleep. Yeah. Oof. Witness the true power of my cards! Dang it! Oh. Oof! Confusion? Oh no. Goodbye. Don't cast Hell Slash. Just don't do- oh. Who's out of range? Okay. That was not too bad. Oh, it's your time. Oh. Yeah, so you know that thing where we uh, picked up a Cure Herb a second ago? Oh! Oh god! Oh. Thank god. Jesus, that was close. <laughs> oh no. Whew. Don't do it. Oh god damn it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so we can't target anything anymore. Cause it's dead. Time to rise and shine. It's sleep. Too bad we don't have that move that the big old dragon had a while ago that clears all effects across the board. Well, an absence of any targets. Yep. We can still use things to target everyone. So craze may be an option. Uh, okay. Fine. Hi! Stop it. Nope. Stop doing the bad things. Goodbye. Thank you. Alright. Damn. Let's go get something to eat. <laughs> Jeez. Holy water. Back to you. No enemy. That's good. 
Yeah, and this sticks out through battle. Alright, let's check out that, uh, staff that I keep forgetting. Cure Poison Paralysis. I don't think it works for curing, um... I don't think it works like Halva, but let's try. Goodbye. No! Doesn't work. Oof. Oh god damn it. Bitch, you can't tell which trying one to break is us me. up. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, towards off or Donna or whoever. The warrior card. Oh, okay, Give that's still good. Strength. Nice. Good counter. These things are weak as heck. Like they are legitimately the weakest. Ever. Alright! But they are strong, so we need to make sure to kill them. Also magic level up, that's good. On the one hand, Alphina is losing MP a lot. On the other hand, I think she's regaining it somehow. We must have a skill for that. Oh god damn it! Congrats. <laughs> Ooh, divine light. Protect me. Haha. Oof. <laughs> Was that counter on Alvina? No, don't do it. Etc. No, don't do it. Etc. Dang it. Okay. Actually, whatever. What's the thing for it? Uh, I think it's only Panacea that can kill it. Oh, uh, vaccines are work too. I see. Well, let's try a vaccine since it'll, uh. Oh, I see. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. What if? Those will pass. We can use this on Yuki. Oh god. Counter does make it. Nope. Oh magic staff. Lend me your power. Hi. Welcome back. It's raining! That's so cool! It hasn't rained in a while. Oh, you're so slow! You don't have... You don't have the things that make you fast, and now you're slow! You you walk slow, you're like molasses, oh my god. Your attacks themselves are probably actually slower. <laughs> Yeah, that is a brutal storm. <laughs> okay, what do you have equipped that's regenerating your MP? I don't know. I guess she is just not using nearly as much of it as I thought she was. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. No. Get out of here. <laughs> Ignore me. Leave it? Okay. And... I guess this is a fine way to... Uh, 
Yay, vaccines. Not yay, bad guys, bad, 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 bad. Okay, they're all doing normal attack. Nice. Bet you can't tell which one is me. Hey, Alfina. Smooth would be pretty handy right now. All things considered. Uh, letting these guys get a chance to attack is awesome. Like attacks, whatever. Don't care. But uh. Time for bed. You know, sickness, no good, no want. Oof. Okay, we can get a counter attack here. Oh god damn it! We can get a counter attack here. Quite counter -attack. Whatever. Actually, this is fine. Uh, paralysis. Damn. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave this to me. Just healing up. Oh, cards of light, hear my call. Protect me. Oh, you're so slow! <laughs> Stop getting hit by that. Look at him, he's so slow. He's like fucking. Oh my god, he didn't even get even close to it. <laughs> bye bye. Dang. Ulf. Ulf. Ulf, you got this, Ulf. Damn it. Yo, okay, thank god. Your strike? Yeah. Oof, wouldn't want to get hit by that. Bring them on! Okay, good stuff. Let's see. Um, there's nothing this way. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, I don't like it. Damn it! You get out of here. You suck. At least it missed Ulf, I guess. I believe in you. But also, oh my god. Okay, let's get rid of these guys first. Since my god. God damn it. Um, who are you targeting? You? Don't give up yet. Yeah, I'm not gonna second ask it. Oh, it didn't hit Ulf. Give us strength. Probably how slash gonna kill you, B. Yeah. So much for power. Not like Oh, and Donna? Yeah. At least she's alive. Yeah. Heal. <laughs> this should help. Bam. No, don't do it. Off offensive now. Go attack. Um why is everything so horrible all the time? Don't confuse him. Please. 
Um... Leave this to me. She'll probably get down in her eyes right now. Yeah, she gets. Ugh. This is why I'm using praise. Range attacks can still hit them, but that only works if you can target them. May your mind scatter like the autumn leaves. Or target someone nearby. Mating call. Heck you! God damn it. Okay, just the one. Good deal. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Sorry we had to leave you down so long. Yeah. Oh well. No one? Okay. Jeez. Not complaining. Do not do it. Still alive. I don't complain. And still all heal. The warrior card. Give us strength. Yes. Leave this to me. Okay, Yuki, deal with the enemy. <laughs> Kill everyone. Kill all the baddies. Do it. You got this. <laughs> Still alive though. Oh well, who are you targeting? Alfina? <laughs> it actually curved to hit it. That's impressive. Goodbye. Thank you. Jeez, that was tough. I don't have time for this. Oh, magic up. That's nice. Curse remover and the res potion. It's res potion. Oh, that's a goodie. 1800 health. Don't know what res stands for. Go away! Alright, I'm not seeing anything, so let's head to the next room. Don't really want to bother with killing all the enemies. We aren't at a terrible level or anything. And we'll encounter plenty going forward. Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna call it here. Now that we're in the Vegas jungle proper. This place is huge. There's a lot to do. Um, and we've been playing for a long while, so. Uh, yeah, 2 hours, 49 minutes, 49 seconds. Nice. Sounds good. Uh, let's, uh, set up Ulf with, uh, one new thing. Since he's got the stuff, right? Oh, you've just got. Can we give you a better book? Uh, like, meh. Okay. Set up skills. Equip Ulf. You've got two slots, three. 
You could get Liz Lizard Hunter. May just get that. Because, yeah. Noise. You could get it too. Actually, we only have the one, I guess, from back from Miranda ages ago. Beasts is an option. Um, but I'm not sure if these count as beasts at all, so. You can get better magic, bro. Who's got water? No. Just you keep on it. You can get all heal. I kind of. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give this to you. Um. And give the heal egg to you. Thank you. Looks good to me. Alright, let's save up. This is not a recover sphere. <laughs> Um, so we're gonna be dealing with the same MP levels, but honestly, we're doing fine, and we'll make it to the next place. No prob. Sounds good! Um, yeah. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I don't think I've properly said that before. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Retroactively, thanks for watching the previous episode, since I cannot imagine jumping into this one. I mean, if you did, that's... Actually, whatever. If you did, hell yeah, thank you. Stuff. Thanks.